Item number SCP-423 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-423 is contained in a 5 by 5 meter room containing three 2 by 3 meter bookshelves. An incinerator is located adjacent. All personnel entering or leaving the room are to be searched for written material. Any written material must be checked for any trace of SCP-423 and then found clean, incinerated. At night, SCP-423 is to remain in a small plain journal marked 423. Failure to remain in this journal at designated times will result in a loss of reading material outside of scheduled experiments. Description SCP-423 has no physical form. It appears to exist entirely within textual narratives. It was discovered in a used bookstore in Beep, Texas, on Beep 19 Beep, and a copy of Tom Sawyer. The book was purchased by Agent Beep, who located it during a routine search. Agent Beep brought the book back to Sector 28 as instructed. The book seemed perfectly normal, except for the inclusion of a character named Fred, who was not known to exist in any other version of the story. However, it was not until it was left by a copy of Moby Dick that the anomalous nature of SCP-423 became clear. SCP-423 is able to enter textual narratives, inserting itself as a minor character. The details of the character vary from story to story, but it always named Fred, or something similar. And its role in the story is usually minor. Physical descriptions of the character are rare, but it usually appears as a human male of average height and middle years. However, this can change depending on the nature of the narrative. He has appeared as a student in narratives focusing on children, and thus presumably of an appropriate age, or even as a non-human in narratives where humans are absent or rare. In no time is his appearance remarked on as being unusual by other characters. SCP-423 is able to move from one narrative to another voluntarily, finding the two works are within one meter of each other. The process takes up to three minutes, depending on the length of the new narrative. The entire narrative changes at once. The text on all pages seems to move. Occasionally, the length of the narrative changes. In these cases, the text grows smaller or larger to fit the page count of the book. It is only able to appear in physical textual narratives. It cannot enter electronic storage or affect purely visual narratives. If fate is in proximity to a graphic novel or any other form of sequential art, it will change the text boxes and dialogue bubbles, but it will not affect the pictures. Similarly, illustrations and textual narrative did not change, even if A no longer match up to the narratives as affected by SCP-423. It prefers fictional narratives. However, it can enter any narrative to add the characters, including anecdotes, biographies, and research notes. See Addendum 423-1. It can enter a narrative that has already exited. If it does so, the new narrative typically differs from the last time SCP-423 entered the story. However, it has displayed a preference for narratives has not yet entered. It is currently unknown what effect dying in a narrative would have on SCP-423. Despite the best effort of researchers, SCP-423 displays a strong grasp of narrative principles and is usually able to predict the best response in a given circumstance to avoid danger to itself. It has, however, displayed minor injuries. However, these seem to vanish when it enters a new narrative. SCP-423 can be communicated with by coaxing it into a journal. In response to questions written within, with SCP-423's responses appearing underneath the questions, when it transfers to another narrative, its responses disappear from the journal. It has been largely cooperative since its containment. Its only requests so far have been for more narratives. It has expressed preferences for narratives with a large number of background characters, as this makes it easier for it to blend in. And watch the good stuff. It has been recommended that, should it become uncooperative, it can be confined to your journal until it becomes more amendable to staff requests. Researchers who desire more information on SCP-423 should read Experiment Log 423A. Addendum 423-1 
Researchers are reminded that all physical material is a potential habitat for 423, and that all notes should therefore be taken electronically. If written notes must, for some reason, be taken, before should check for addenda from guest researcher thread. Addendum 423-2 The use of SCP-583 to destroy SCP-423 has been suggested. While the SCP is not stated for destruction at the present time, it has been noted should circumstances changes. Experiment Log 423-A Experiment Log for SCP-423 Approved by O5-BEEP Monitored by O5-BEEP 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 Project Head, Dr. E. Mann. All researchers working with SCP-423 are encouraged to append their results to this experiment log in the following format. Date, test material, result, note. As all the dates are blanked out, so I'll just uh, read the test materials and the results then. Test material, Tom Sawyer, by Mark Twain. Results, a character named Fred is mentioned at several points in the story largely as an onlooker. No change to the story is noticed. Note, this will serve as a baseline for future effects of SCP-423, Dr. E. Mann. Test Material, The Hobbit, by J.R.R. Tolkien. Result, a 14th dwarf named Floridor is a member of the party. The narrative is largely the same, except there are no references to a lucky number. Floridor is mentioned as surviving the Battle of Five Armies, but Owen is killed. Note, SCP-423's role is larger in this work, allowing a better look at its effects. The dialogue written for the character is similar to that written for the other dwarves. Other differences in text match, Tolkien's writing style, as used in the rest of the book, Dr. E. Mann. Test material, plain journal. Result, there was no result for some time until one of the researchers wrote his name on the cover. The words, hi there appeared underneath. A conversation was held, during which it was established that SCP-423 possessed both the ability and desire to communicate. Note, this proves that SCP-423 is sentient. If it can be controlled, it could be useful in dealing with certain text-based SCPs. This bears further research, Dr. E. Mann. Test Material, Dragon Quest by Anne McCaffrey. Result, a minor blue writing aimed for Red, appears in the story. No other changes are noted. Test Material, Harry Potter and the Half's Murdered Prince by J.K. Rowling. Result, a wizard named Fred appeared. Very few changes in the story are noted, except one scene in which SCP-423 is confused with an existing character in the series. Note, SCP-423 displayed paranormal activities in the narrative, though nothing out of note for the fictional universe. However, when we turn to the journal, SCP-423 said that it couldn't duplicate them outside of that particular narrative universe, Dr. E. Mann. Test Material, Ulysses, by James Joyce. Result, SCP-423 immediately returned to the journal, where it wrote out, OW! OW! BAD IDEA! Note, note this as a potential punishment for SCP-423 if it misbehaves, Dr. E. Mann. Test Material, The Drago Tavern, by Larry Naveen. Result, a new regular employee of the Drago Tavern showed up named Fred. Only mentioned in passing, save in the story, cruel and unusual, where he expressed sympathy for the Chersetha field. Note, either he's not completely human in outlook, or only acts that way when dealing with stories of aliens. We should probably test this further. Dr. D. Retter. Test Material, the Battle Hymn of the Republic by Julia Ward Howe. Result. Verse 2, lines and 3 altered. Rather than I have seen him in the watchfires of a hundred circling camps, and I can read his righteous sentence by the dim and flaring lamps. The lines now read, Fred had seen him in the watchfires of a hundred circling camps, and Fred can read his righteous sentence by the dim and flaring lamps. Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 wrote, That was interesting, but I don't think I want to try it again. Test Material Mary Had a Little Lamb, verses 1 and 2 only, by Sarah Josepha Hale. Result 
References to Mary in verse 1 are now references to Freddy. References to her in verse 2 are now references to him. Test material. Mary had a little lamb. Full version by Sarah Joseph Hale. Results. Verses 1 and 2 are now unaltered. A reference to the eager children in verse 4 is now a reference to Fred and her children. Test material. House of Leaves. Color version. By Mark Z. Danilowski. Result. A mailman named Fred delivers a letter to Will Everton in page blank. Fred also appears as a bartender that tends Johnny and one of the orderlies caring for Pelafina. SCP-423 expressed profound confusion after leaving this work. Of note is that all instances of Fred in the text were written in green. Test Material Gatsby Champion of Youth by Ernest Vincent Wright Gatsby is known for being an extended epigram. 50,110-word story written without any ease. As a result, a minor character named Ford appeared in the novel. Test Material A non-pornographic numeric about a man from Nantucket. Result No change. SCP-423 subsequently explained that the given numeric was too small and too tight with insufficient flexibility. Test Material A book of 365 haiku. Result Third line of 13 separate haiku placed with a five syllable phrase mentioning Fred. Fred watched silently. Fred is also here. Only Fred remains, etc. Test material. The Frog Suit Sire King by Aesop. Written using plastic letters with a magnetic backing applied to a metallic surface. Result. The penultimate sentence became a big stork that soon set to work gobbling them all up except for one named Fred who hid. The new letters appear to be of the same material and design of the original ones, and the weight of the complete setup remained the same. Test Material Blood Meridian by Comic McCarthy Result In the introductory scene, where Holden incites a mob to murder the reverend by falsely accusing the reverend of ape and bestiality, a bystander named Frederick is present in the mob. However, instead of participating, the bystander leaves in disgust. The narrator comments that a weak coward Frederick was never seen again. Test material. Beep telephone directory. 2003. Results? No change. Test material. 12 Angry Men by Reginald Noels. Results. The list of characters specifies that the courthouse guard is named Fred. He is described as disappointed that he will be excluded from the jurors' deliberations. Test material. Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler, German original. Result, no change for the first minute, followed by insertion of multiple brief references to a distant, skeptical colleague named Frederick, and to autobiographical fragments of chapters 2 to 8 of the book. The inserts were in German, roughly consistent with the original style, but containing a number of grammar and stylistic mistakes. Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 remarked, Whew! That was hard! Note, I am not sure what is more significant here, that 423 appears to possess a native tongue, or that it was apparently able to obtain very good knowledge of German from the contents of a single book, even as long as this one. We should take deeper into its possible application to translating a Terthu and undesirable scripts. Dr. Despair. Test Material. Odyssey by Homer. English Braille Edition. Results. No change. SCP-423 left the book after five minutes, saying, Interesting, but I think I'll leave this one for when I'm really bored. Test Material. A hard copy of this experiment log. Results. Identical, except for the insertion of the word luckily handsome in several sections of the log. Test Material. The Tranquilo Mass Episode by Woody Allen. A story about a man who who is able to travel into fiction. Results. Testing forbidden by O5 Beep. Test material SCP-826 using SCP-423 communication journal as a book. Results. Testing forbidden by O5 Beep. Test material SCP-701. Results. Testing forbidden by O5 Beep. Test material A Canadian $5 bill 
2008 issue. The reverse of the bill contains two scented passage from the hockey sweater by Rock Carrier in French and in English. Result, first sentence remained intact. Second sentence, which describes how important skating things were in Carrier's childhood, now mentions life on the skating rink with Fred, as well as Sir Lampardandor, a big fit. Note, the bill was first tested in the change machine and accepted as legitimate. After SCP-423 left the bill, it was tested in the same change machine and rejected as counterfeit. Test Material Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss Result Halfway through the book, Sam I Am asked the protagonist, Would you eat them here with bread? Would you eat them with some bread? Her protagonist excuses. No edited nor additional illustrations were included. Note After returning to his journal, SCP-423 noted, That was fun. Test Material, The Fellowship of the Ring, by J.R.R. Tolkien. Result, a hobbit named Frederick Gold Burroughs, noted as a friend of Samurai Scanji, accompanies Frodo Baggins and his party throughout the book. Note, of particular note is that Owen, noted as having been killed in 423's version of The Hobbit, is mentioned as surviving in this book. Test Material, SCP-140. Result, Testing forbidden by O5 Beep. Note, without permission, researcher Deep, who was working with SCP-140 at the time, put the two books together, despite training in resisting mimetic effects. Words appeared rapidly in SCP-140's pages at a rate of roughly one page filled every 12 seconds until SCP-423 returned to its journal. The words disappeared from the pages of SCP-140. SCP-423 later stated that it was extremely painful and felt it was being ripped apart. Test material, SCP-1425. Result, testing forbidden by O5 beep. Test material, SCP-1230. Result, pending O5 approval. Test material, SCP-1195. Result, Testing forbidden by O5 Beep. Test material. A list of D-class personnel to be terminated at the first of the month. Names included. Result. The line Class D personnel to be decommissioned as of Beep. Changed to D-class personnel to be released as of Beep. All names remain as first written down. SCP-423 writes in the journal. Now that's just heartless. Note. It is conclusive that SCP-423 has the ability to not only feel emotion, but has a belief in the importance of life. Test Material A 20-minute ballad of four eight dancers, four male and four female, described in Rudolf Lebon's Abundantation System for Recording Human Movement. Result Notation states that halfway through the ballet, fifth male dancer walks on stage, looks at the other dancers, shrugs his shoulders, and walks off. Test material. A logic puzzle as published in Beep Logic Puzzle magazine, describing how five different people took their driving tests in five different vehicles on five different days and made five different errors. As is standard for logic puzzles of this sort, solvers are to determine which student drove which vehicle and made which error on which day. Result. A driving examiner named Fred is mentioned as having present during all tests. Upon subsequent questioning, SCP-423 was able to correctly state which driver made which error in which vehicle on which day. When asked how it knew this, SCP-423 did not explain the series of logical inferences, deductions, and conclusions by which puzzles are typically solved, but rather simply stated that it was right there the whole time. Test Material The Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson The Result the dramatist persona in the start of the book now mentions Reader, a soldier in the bridge burners, and Fred, a dull patron of the Phoenix Inn. In the second chapter, following the fall of Pale, the bridge burners that arrive for Hillock, including the fifth person, who is unnamed and doesn't speak, but can either be identified as Reader, and many subsequent encounters with the bridge burners, the soldier Reader is also threatened. This character doesn't have any lines and is normally found with a book in his hand. In Chapter 5, during Cooper's dream, Cooper sees a 
here goeth in God over his shanty town, who, he says, greatly reminds him of his friend Fred, who he saw just the other day in the Phoenix Inn. From chapter 6 on, Fred is to be found in the Phoenix Inn. Interestingly, for the garden party on Ace and Tell's estate, both Fred and Reader are guests. Rich Burner and all the Fieldpoint characters alike commented how they look vaguely similar. Apart from the minor changes, the book has exactly the same ending as before though. Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 wrote only dot 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 when questioned. After a few minutes, it finally wrote, Sorry, that was interesting, but exhausting. SCP-423 expressed an interest in remaining books of the series. This has been noted and will be considered as a reward for good behavior. Notes. This has proven that 423 can be in multiple places within the same narrative, though it seems to tire it out. Dr. R. Karma. Test Material. Candidate Mountain Lion Maps by Sanjin Grog. Published in 2013 as his doctoral thesis. Results. Approximately 10 seconds after entering, SCP-423 returned to the journal and wrote, Sorry, not enough room for me. Note, it seems that 423 needs to have a narrative to work off. This has been noted for the future. Dr. R. Kam. Test material, a printout of source code for a simple Hello World program in C Sharp. Results, the source code now has a number of additional comments alongside the source code professing confusion about certain aspects of programming. On returning to the journal, SCP-423 wrote out, Well, that was the first. Test Material Head First C-Sharp 3rd Edition First Printing by Andrew Stoneman and Jennifer Green Result A number of examples involving named male characters have had these characters be named to Fred. The puzzles were also all filled in. Around page 100 or so, notes start appearing here and there. No substantial hinges were noted until page 698, where a typo identified in the editor of the book was corrected. In subsequent pages, a number of typos and language problems were corrected in code snippets and descriptions, matching the errors reported in the editor, with the exception of screenshots. On returning to the journal, SCP-423 reported that it found it that fun but unusual. On being questioned on its understanding of the language, SCP-423 stated it could write and understand C-sharp and express its desire to use Visual Studio. Notes. 423 seems to be both capable and interested in learning, provided there is some narrative lesson for it to learn. A potential future experiment could involve us attempting a decadent into a computer without an internet connection. Dr. R. Kam. Test Material. Secret of the Ninja, Choose Your Own Adventure 16 by J. Leibold Result, the viewpoint character is initially accompanied by a character named Fred, who is another student at a dojo. Several of the choice descriptions, which lead to a negative ending for the protagonist and his companions, are changed to contain a phrase indicating Fred does not accompany the protagonist. Note, 423 does not seem significantly hindered by the book's branching narrative, nor by the presence of multiple endings. Researcher Beep Date, Beep 2015 Test material, printed copy of an ASCII art rendition of the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Results, all punctuation used to stimulate the shading of the original work is replaced with the letters F, R, E, and D, in upper and lower case. Note, when questioned about the extent of its ability to completely modify textual representations of imagery, as opposed to merely substituting characters, SCP-423 acknowledged the possibility, responding with, I guess so, maybe, but I'm not really good at art. Further inquiry is suggested. Test material, SCP-085. Results, pending 05 approval. Test material. The Frequently Asked Questions document for the Usenet News Group out at adjective.noun.verb.verb.verb. Results. A sentence is added to the section of the document which describes the news group's genesis, stating, Alt anomalous fred dot perplex dot baffled dot moderately amused. Test material. Shir 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 shir. Lying eating poet. 
in the Stone Den by Huan Yan Chao. Lion Eating Poet is a 92 character poem written in classical Chinese, in which every syllable is pronounced shi, a bit with varying tones. Result SCP 423 he manifested from his journal, but it did not manifest within the test document. After 10 minutes, researchers were able to report a containment breach when SCP-423 re-manifested within its journal, stating it had gone lost trying to find a way in. Test Material World War Z by Max Brooks The book consisted of multiple small interview-like stories told from the perspective of survivors of a zombie apocalypse. Result, SCP-423 demanifested from the journal and was discovered to have added in the account of a captain named Fred, who survived in a bookstore in On Feet Road in New York. A team has been dispatched to investigate the named location. Test Material Marvel Masterworks The X-Men Volume 1 by Stan Lee, writer, and Jack Kirby, artist. The book is a trade paperback collection of the first 10 issues of the comic book series The X-Men. Results the collection now contains numerous references to Fred Wordsworth, one of the students of Xavier's School of Gifted Youngsters. This character is described as a mutant possessing the ability to physically enter and alter any text, but that this power has made him invisible and intangible. By issue 5, the character has become a second string member of the X-Men unit under the alias Bookworm. The character indirectly participates in several plot points, though utilization of his abilities in one instance, distracting a villain by altering nearby signs. Note, SCP-423 was found to have altered certain instances of text within the artwork, but was completely unable to affect other instances upon request. Investigation has revealed that all susceptible text was added by the comic's letterer, exclusively responsible for the addition of all text found in the comic, rather than the inker exclusively responsible for finalizing artwork. For the study is recommended. Test material, The Poem Incident by County Cullen, depicting Cullen's experiences with anti-black racism as a child visiting Baltimore. Result, the ninth line of the poem is changed from I saw the whole of Baltimore to Fred show me all of Baltimore. Note, SCP-423 seems reluctant to portray itself as either the perpetrator or the victim of racism. Test Material Slaughterhouse 5 by Kurt Vonnegut The novel is a semi-autobiographical account of Vonnegut's experience as an American prisoner of war during the 1945 bombing of Destin, Germany during World War II. Result, war mention of Kurt Vonnegut in the novel excluding within the foreword, is altered to describe SCP-423. That is, that was I, that was me, that was the author of this book, was changed to, was changed to read, that was read, that was not me, that was not the author of this book. Note, as Kurt Vonnegut self is not mentioned for most of the novel, he could technically be described as a minor character. Test Material the Outsiders by S. E. Hinton Result A new member of the Sox accompanies Robert during the scene in which Robert is murdered. When Ponyboy wakes up after having attempted to be drowned, Johnny mentions that someone unimpressively handsome had introduced himself as Fred before punching Johnny in the face, then running out of here like lightning. After returning to the journal, SCP-423 remarked, I know that you guys record this, and I didn't want to ruin the ending for anyone who haven't read the book. It is to be noted that at the end of the book, beep. Test Material, Fred's Story by Researcher Torres A small novella written specifically to test SCP-423's abilities. The novella is set in a fantasy kingdom whose inhabitants are all beautiful women. When the kingdom is attacked by a demonic force, the kingdom's queen creates a ritual to summon a hero from another dimension to save them. The hero is never given a name, but it is mentioned that he is male and can transfer his consciousness to different works of fiction. Result, the hero is left aimless, and the novella is left unchanged aside from an added sentence in chapter 2, which mentions that one of the queen's assistants 
is named Federica. After SCP-423 demanifested from the novella, it noted, I appreciate the offer, but I just can't. I never deserve to be in the spotlight. Test Material The Last Question by Isaac Asimov This test was conducted not using physically printed material, but a 9.7 inch beep e-reader tablet utilizing electronic paper technology. Electronic paper is able to retain a static image indefinitely without electricity, requiring power only for the initial rendering. Image remains as a suspension of pigments in an oil-like base once rendered. Entire story was rendered on a single screen in a small font. Wireless functionality was disabled before testing by physically surveying in circuit traces on a device printed circuit board as a precaution. Results. A character named FR33D is inserted into the third section of the story almost instantaneously with a single line in response to another character's comment on the rate at which humans are populating the galaxy. SCP-423 stated afterwards, Good story, but what was that? It felt strange. It was very easy to move through. Not at all unpleasant. It felt like there was something below the story, if that makes sense. Can we do more like that? Notes it is unclear whether SCP-423 moved through the internal circuitry of the device or similar to physical pigment in oil suspension of the electronic paper material. Changes occurred much faster than in tests with ink on paper. Recommend further testing with other substrates and form factors. Electronic paper appears to be close enough to printed material as to be compatible with SCP-423. What else might be compatible? Text painted on a wall? Stitch into fabric, lid in on a cake with icing, Dr. Beep. Test Material, If on a Winter's Night or a Traveler, by Italo Carvino, English translation by William Weaver, a metafictional novel of uninterrupted and unfinished narratives, half of whose content is a second-person narrative describing a reader's increasingly frantic attempts to obtain and read a copy of If on a Winter's Night a Traveler, only to find that every copy is flawed, such that every other chapter is from a different imaginary novel, and the other half is the aforementioned chapters from imaginary novels. Result, in the section where the protagonist angrily returns the flawed copy of the novel to the bookseller in hopes of either obtaining a proper copy, or finding out the conclusion to the chapter of the imaginary novel, another angry customer named Fred tells the bookseller that if this is a joke, it's not funny. Test Material A version of In Search of Lost Time by Marcel Post English translation by D.J. Enright Considered one of the longest works of fiction in history in which all seven volumes had been custom bound into one book with all indications of different volumes removed. Results After several minutes, Fred only appears within the first three volumes, Swan's Way and the Shadow of Young Girls and Flower and The Gunnermontis Way. For all references of him cease. Upon return to the journal, SCP-423 expressed feelings of surprise, stating, Great story, but I took a peek and how long it went, and wow, is it long. I'm going to need to come back to this one. Notes. Along with the aforementioned Erickson test, this could be an indicator that SCP-423 has an upper limit as to the length of the works he can manifest in. Test Materials SCP-3450, printed into standard computer paper. Result, testing forbidden by O5Beep. Note, SCP-423 had learned of this test after denial due to junior researcher Beep accidentally leaving a notepad expressing disappointment at a test denial near 423's journal. SCP-423 wrote that the irony of interacting with a self-insert fanfic isn't lost on me. Test Material of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck Result A character named Freddy appeared multiple times throughout the book, working as a farmhand on a ranch. The narrator describes him as a man whose handsomeness is already apparent when compared to other hands at the ranch, as he is not as nearly as worn down. The starch's appearance is during the section when George Milton and Lenny Small arrive at the ranch. 
As he passes the two protagonists by, he comments on the size of Lenny, remarking that he looks like a bull who learned how to walk on his hind legs. Test material. 300 children's building block toys. Result. No change. Notes. The result of this test is rather inconclusive. Did SCP-423 consider the letters on the blocks a picture instead of text? Could it only affect one block and not have enough room? Or can it simply not affect this form of writing? More tests like this would have to be conducted. Test material SCP-2236 SCP-2236 was used to examine text known to have been affected by SCP-423. Result First few texts Examine exhibit no change and subsequently examined texts. References to SCP-423 in the text were, when examined using SCP-2236, interpreted as descriptions of red seeking to hide or avoiding observation. When we turned to the journal, a comment in appeared in the journal reading, That was rude. This comment, when examined using SCP-2236, appeared as a string of expletives. Test Material a journal with Mary Had a Little Lamp, but written in invisible ink. Result, same as the last time, and Mary Had a Little Lamp was used. SCP-423 manifested itself in invisible ink. In asking SCP-423 if he noticed a change in ink, he did admit that the document seems slightly different. Note, it seems that SCP-423 might be able to notice specific patterns and differences between texts explaining his adherence to storage specific restrictions. This is confirmed by this experiment. Test material, a copy of the Varnock manuscript. Result, after five minutes in which text did not change, SCP-423 explained that the topic was technical up to a level where SCP-423 could not understand, though SCP-423 explained it did him that the pictures in Varnock manuscript Matched the captions below. Test material. A hard copy of the Wikipedia page on the point here conjecture. Result. The only place where SCP-423 manifests was in one of the bibliographies. SCP-423 stated that it could not find a good place to appear to a lack of knowledge of the point here conjecture, though it was impressed by point here's health skills. Test material. Metaphors by Sophia Blath. A nine-line poem in which each line is a nine-syllable metaphor for the same subject. Result, no change. When SCP-423 returned to its journal, it stated that whatever she's doing in there, it's too crowded. There's no room for me. I really don't think I should be in there. It's kind of private. And we feel to comment further. Test material. A copy of the film script for Inception by Christopher Nolan. Result. SCP-423 appeared as a minor character appearing in some of the dreams, as well as the limbo state for this movie. It adhered to the capitalization format of the script, Fred in capitals, as well as his name put in the middle of the page when appearing, with a line after his name each time. SCP-423 states, It highly enjoyed the script, though he was a bit confused by fade-out as well as credits, since this was the first time it was exposed to a movie script. Test material, a copy of the script for Heaven Sent from Doctor Who. Result, references to sculptures on a wall resembling SCP-423's usual look. SCP-423 explains that the tight story made it too difficult for him to manifest himself as an actual character, though he vastly enjoyed the Doctor's fantastic performance, which he claimed he experienced not as 4 billion years, but only an hour, as long as the TV episode. Note, it seems that if the story is very contained, any other characters should have severe change in plot or make no sense with only the minimum amount of main characters. SCP-423 will become an enamored object in the story instead, though still aware of events occurring. Test material, the lyrics of Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Result, in verses 2 and 3, Mama was replaced by Frederica. SCP-423 seemed unaware that this was a song as opposed to a poem. It seems that not all information is given to SCP-423, merely enough for him to not interrupt the flow of the poem or song, 
as well as fulfill any standard set by a story. Test Material 50 Shades of Grey by E. L. James Result A minor character thread appeared in the background. SCP-423 expressed that it was a bit uncomfortable with the explicit scenes within the book and requested it be sent to stories with more adventure and action next time. Note, it seems that SCP-423 also has a taste for specific books. This is the first time it was exposed to sexually explicit book, so it was not used to the situation. Test Material This is the title of the story, which is also found several times in the story itself by David Moser, a metafictional story about self-reference. Result, several additional sentences appeared throughout the story, including, this is the sentence in which Fred appears, this is not the sentence in which Fred appears, and this sentence alludes to Fred's presence but does not actually contain Fred. Test material, written by Dr. Zeep. A list of 100 fictional people doing things simultaneously in different areas, with a tragic end along with a final over-encompassing statement about each of them in contributing to the tragedy. Result, this test was to determine if there was an upper limit to how many locations SCP-423 could reside in at the same time within the book. Out of 100 fictional people, only 83 had a mention of with it. The tragedy was not prevented in the end. SCP-423 noted that it got too tired after being in 83 different places in the story. Test material, the file for SCP-055. Result, inconclusive. SCP-423 stated it was not sure what it was doing other than the fact that something was not spherical. Researchers soon forget what they sent SCP-423 to do. Test material, the experimental data for SCP-2719, labeled SCP-2719, with no outcomes listed and with an additional entry with SCP-423 at the bottom, also with no outcome listed. Result, data was filled precisely identical to the real file of SCP-2719. SCP-423's outcome was became inside. When questioned, SCP-423 responded that it merely observed what occurred with each entity. Despite SCP-2719 being an abstract metaphysical concept, it also has somehow experienced becoming inside, despite having no knowledge of 2719. More testing to be done with 2719 and 423. Note, it seems that abstract entities manifesting themselves have the same effect on SCP-423 as any usual person, even if SCP-423 has no idea what is happening. It also seems that it can fill in the blanks based on what already happened. Test Material Experimental Log 914 Part 2 Result A record appeared on test logs, Part 8 of an experiment performed by guest researcher Fred with the rest of the data for said experiment blocked out. Date Total Date Failure Test Material The Bridge History of Homo Sapiens by History Analyst Subroutine Number 7589372357286473 NFSZ Results SCP-423 is featured under the unknown period section as a featureless humanoid screaming in an infinite white void and rambling incoherently. After being returned, SCP-423 showed signs on prolonged exposure to weak time suggesting that SCP-423 still understands temporal physics in a manner similar to organic beings. Test Material An untitled, 50,000-page story created by randomization bound by grammar and basic sentence structure created for this test. Result, the sentence Joshua went to the diagonal party without his safety at was replaced with Joshua went to the diagonal party without his safety threat. Note, SCP-423 noted that being in the document was similar to when it was experienced dreams in other stories which it had slept. Test Material A printout of the game script for Secret of Monkey Island. Result was ASA scanned and a raw text compiled into the working program for being screened for anomalies. Result An NPC named Fred appears near a small building at the pier on Melee Island. When spoken to, the player is presented with a dialogue tree, questioning him on his backstory, 
that he tried and failed to become a pirate. It is mandatory to recruit him on the ship's crew for the second chapter, where he joins the mutiny. Subsequent cutscenes have been present with the rest of the crew. Notes Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 remarks, that was like a choose your own adventure book. Let me know if you find any more. Test material. A million random digits with 100,000 normal deviates. Published by Rand Corporation, 1955. Result in the other preface by Dr. Frederick McCarthy explaining the statistical methodology used to generate numbers in the book. Test material. The Location, 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 story arc from the first print collection of Precautious. Precautious is a webcomic where all the characters are anthropomorphic animals. However, none of the dialogue in this particular story states or implies a species. The purpose of this test is to determine if SCP-423 can sense artwork. Result. Mr. Croup states the name of the father and an off-screen family to be named Fred. Upon returning to the journal, SCP-423 was asked if the cast of the story were human. SCP-423 states that they were animals, and he himself took on the form of an arctic fox. Further questioning reveals that this was the most nondescript species of the choices he was given. Test material. The entire script of William Shakespeare's Hamlet. Result. During Act 1, Scene 2, a character by the name of Frederick sneezes halfway through King Claudius' speech. Hamlet laughs. No other changes have been discovered. Note, when questioned, SCP-423 stated, I got a little bored during the speech. Test material. Field agent Scott Pinkerton's personnel file. Result. Text regarding the recruitment of agent into the SCP Foundation show addition of an individual by the name of Security Guard Fred, who is stated to have kept guard during Pinkerton's preliminary interview. No other changes noted. Note, no security personnel matching said name were posted during any of Agent Scott's job interviews for the Foundation. Test material. The essential Calvin and Hobbes, a Calvin and Hobbes treasury. Result. In strips where Calvin and Hobbes discussed the neural incident, a kid named Fred, who was a witness, is occasionally mentioned. In one strip, after Calvin's mother attended a parent-teacher conference, Calvin worries Fred spilled the beans to her. Note, when questioned about the noodle incident, SCP-423 stated, Okay, my memory's hazy, but from what I remember, noodles are definitely involved, and so was Calvin. Addendum. In other words, we still know we redacted all about who did noodle incident. It should be inaccurate to say I'm a little disappointed. I am greatly disappointed. Dr. Margin. Test material. A short story written by Dr. Beep about a fictional man who asks some other characters to write a computer program and see anything Java in a job interview. Results. A character named Fred participates and completes both tasks without problem. Note, when questioned about its ability to write a program in Java, despite no evidence that it could before, SCP-423 stated that it just sort of knew how. When asked if it could write another program in Java, SCP-423 said it could not. It just theorized that the ability to perform a task it did not know how to do is similar to temporarily being able to perform magic and works from the series Harry Potter, but not outside of them. Test material, the lyrics to the song Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Results, the words, Mama just killed a man, put a gun against my head, my trigger, now she's dead, I know, are replaced by, Mama almost killed a man, put a gun against poor Fred, but I failed since he's not dead. Note, didn't we already do this? Dr. Beep. Test Material, 1984, by George Orwell, popular alias of Eric A. Blair. Results, the man previously only referred to as Beetle-like in the canteen is now recorded by Winston to have been named Fred, and to work somewhere inside the narrow hallways of the Ministry of Plenty. Later in the novel, Winston reflects that 
He had not seen Fred in canteen for some months now, either. No other changes noted. Notes. SCP-423 apparently returned to the journal almost immediately and wrote before questions could be asked that it needed a minute. After approximately three and a half hours, it clarified its answer with another response, as transcribed below. I'm sorry for taking so long. It's... I could see the suffocating logic of Orwell's system, and how monolithic the oppression he created was. The book was watching me. Look, I don't want to do this again. At least Animal Farm had more places to hide. Addendum. While well, this adds 1984 to the list of novels that we could potentially use as punishment, we also now know that SCP-423 was exposed to other novels prior to containment. It would be worthwhile to create a complete list of these, through questioning or otherwise. He made this easy for us by starting on the letter A, anyhow. Dr. Shaskbensky Test Material a printout of the game script for Persona 5, the result was laser scanned, and the raw text compiled into a working program after being screened for anomalies. Results, after the protagonist awakens in the Velvet Room for the first time, a new character named Fred appears in Café Le Blanc. Additional sprites and models for him have him appear as a blonde-haired young man in a blue uniform. Talking to him has him introduce himself as a record keeper for the Velvet Room, and he elaborates that he will be following the protagonist's journey with great interest. Fred appears in multiple different locations in the game, and talking to him will start a short conversation on his thoughts about the protagonist's journey so far, specifically on recent events in game. No characters notice him until the final palace, where he appears in the Velvet Room Following Igor's release, a short scene is added and he explains that he was unable to return to the Velvet Room until Igor was freed. Note, the same experiment on Persona 5 Royal, an expanded and enhanced version of the game, produced near-identical results, the only difference being that Fred would discuss new events and characters in the game, and is present in the third semester arc. Test Material, Atlanta Lights a 2004 work written by a collective of authors and an attempt to produce an unpublishedly bad novel. So as to prove that a particular vanity press had no quality standards, laws include two different versions of Chapter 12, Chapter 4 and Chapter 17 being identical, Chapter 21 being absent, Chapter 34 being written by a random text generator, and a revelation several chapters before the end had everything had been a dream, out of which the story continues anyway. Notably, the initials of all named characters in the book form a hidden message. Results, no change. SCP-423 stated in his journal, Oh my god, you actually found a copy of Atlanta Lights! You bastards! I'm not going back in there! You can't make me! And we face a comment further. Examination of other copies of Atlanta Knight Nero's presence in Chapter 8 of a waiter named Frederick, also referred to as Frederick and Frederick, with the hidden messages composed of the character's initials contained no Fs. Whether this is an indication of SCP-423's origins, or simply of its activities before coming into Foundation custody, is unknown. Test Material The Monk by Matthew Lewis Results, unlike other tests, SCP-423 took a more direct involvement in the plot. When the titular character, Ambrosio, breaks into the home of the 15-year-old Antonia and her mother, Alvera, with the intention of raping the latter, a previously unseen character, Federico, takes him by surprise and raises the alarm, waking the neighbors and Antonia's mother. He then reveals Ambrosio's intentions to the shock of everyone present, who stops what is dispelled when Elvera reveals she previously suspected Ambrosio of attempting to force himself upon Antonia. This leads to Ambrosio's arrest and his trial, 
where he is found guilty and sentenced to life imprisonment. Agrico did not partake further after his only appearance. Note, SCP-423 left the following in his journal. I know I owe you an explanation for that. I broke the mold. I'll admit it. I don't normally enjoy doing that at all. It feels disrespectful. But this was different. There was no way in hell I could just stand by and do nothing. Oh, somebody is about to be violated. No one deserves to go through that. No one! That morality was the primary factor in SCP-423 breaking the usual pun had been noted for future tests. 